Hey everybody, welcome back. I have a Dollar Zone haul and then I wanted to check out and see if they had any cool stuff in the craft section and I found some neat things and I just wanted to come on here and share with you. I don't know if you have one where you live, but where I live there are several of them around the area. So if you haven't been in one, I highly recommend it. Sometimes it's hit or miss, so why don't we see what I found and then you can decide for yourself. So the first thing I saw when I walked in is this little red suitcase and it was a dollar marked a dollar fifty and I thought these would be perfect to like store craft stuff in so it'd be easy to like I don't know travel with. Also you can decorate these for happy mail. So I picked up one for myself and I also picked up one for my son to put his little matchbox cars in that he collects. And so I just filled up <clears throat> Instead of getting a bag, I filled these up with the stuff that I picked out. So let me share with you what I found. So the first thing I have to share with you are these bottom seal poly bags. You get 18 pieces. These are $1.25. Um, yeah, they copied Dollar Tree and marked up their dollar items to $1.25, which was really annoying. It's bad enough one store does it, but when they all follow suit, it's like, okay, guys, we get it. So I like these bags because they have the little um, hang punch out at the top and then they have like the white trim. So if you wanted to like gift some embellishments that you made or some cut aparts, you could decorate the white part. And then they have the little sticky strip that you peel off and then you just fold it. Now I will say that these sticky strips are not the most sticky I feel like they're like a resealable sticky consistency so it's not like super strong so you could open them and close them so if you want them to be super strong I recommend you just go over this glue strip here with your favorite glue um, gun not glue gun but like ATC glue gun or your favorite glue strip gun so I got the large size and like I said, I got these to <clears throat> pack up like embellishments or die cuts. And I figured for 18 bags with this unique topper that that was a good deal. You can never have enough bags when you're sending out happy mail. I also picked up the same bags in a smaller size. The first ones I showed you were a five by seven. And this one is four by six. And in this bag, you get 24 pieces. So that's the size difference right there. Sorry about the glare. And the next thing that I picked up <clears throat> were these, um, what are they? Oh, these, these are like the bags that they used to sell at Michael's. And you can also get something like this on AliExpress. These were $1.50 each. It's by Craft Medley and they're the little, Ziploc bags. They're laminated poly pouches. So they are food safe and they are 4.1 inches by 6.3 inches. I don't know. I guess I just grabbed them because they're similar to ones I used to get at um, Michael's and also they also sell something similar like this at Hobby Lobby in the sack section. But these are gold and it's not like a super gold. It's just a very matte gold. And these you can use to gift uh, beads or sequin mixes. So I picked them up in the gold. And then I also got them in silver. And these were $1.50 like I mentioned. And um, you get eight pieces of each one. I know they're more expensive at Michael's. Um, but they have gone on clearance. So I figured just because they're a little different than the holographic ones that you get from Hobby Lobby. They have like a different silver it's like a matte silver finish. I just like them because they were a little different. So, and again, those are $1.50 each. These were $1.25. I've got to stop buying bags, guys. You don't need that many bags. And then um, I found these really cool uh, mirror mosaic stickers. I wanted to try to like do my own craft project with these. These remind me of like the disco ball squares. Uh, I was thinking, I saw someone recently make something um, with disco ball squares 
and that's why I picked these up and I forget what it was but it was really cool so now I have them if I want to try to do it myself and I can't even remember what it is but it was one of those like Instagram reels that somebody did a DIY so that's why I got those so I picked up two of them in case I couldn't find them ever again which sometimes happens in these kind of weird stores that have you know it's like they do buyouts of other big stores I don't know you never know what the story is or if it's ever going to come back again so that's why I picked up a couple of those and then I found this mini screw top container to add like little um like Swakorsky crystals or diamond dots this was a dollar fifty I probably could get this cheaper on Timu but you know then you risk the chance of it cracking and shipping um so I just picked up this one and also you can like put little like jewelry pieces in here that are hard to handle and you don't want them to get lost you want them to be easy to, to be found. So I got that. And then I found these really cute daisy gems in the large size. And then I found them in the smaller size. And I thought the colors were really pretty. And again, I could probably get these on Timu for, I don't know. Actually, I think this is a better deal. They're probably a little bit more on Timu, but you know, I'm also supporting my local store. So it is a small business, even though it is a chain. They are family run in my town. Moving along, I picked up this Craft Medley glass bead kit in reds. I have the other colors from other brands from Dollar Tree, and I thought this would be cool for like the 4th of July for shaker mixes. Also Valentine's Day. I don't have a lot of red beads, so I thought a smaller container would be ideal for that. Cute little Hello Kitty um, party favors. Um, depending on how many kids are coming to my son's birthday party, I got these for the girls to hang on like the plastic lanyards that I bought to make necklaces. So I thought those were super cute. All right. So that's the first container. And then I have one more container that I filled with crafty things. I think they have these new epoxy brads. I just picked up this style. They have other colors. And this one just is in like hot pinks and yellows. And I thought this would be fun for spring and summer to add to a project or a card even. And you get 16 pieces in that. And then I also found these adorable ladybug gems. They're so cute. And I love the little baby pink ones and the yellow ones the most. Of course, I'll always love the red ones because those are a classic ladybug color, but it's nice to see them in a different um, design scheme. And wood sticks, I thought these would be great to do like little flag embellishments on or even little projects uh, that you need like a little strong piece of wood. They're called Craft for Kids, round wood sticks and you get 60 pieces. So I thought those were super cool. Saw these awesome buttons that they have and these cool like patterns and you get 36 pieces for $1.25. And then I got them in this color scheme with the yellows, greens, and oranges for summer. I also picked up these beads they had there, which I thought were different and unique for summertime. And then I also found the little versions of the big bag. So this is the third size. This is the baby size of the five by seven, four by six. This is a three by four. And I thought this would be great to like put ATCs in, ATC cards in <laughs> since it's a little bigger than those. All right, and then I was super, super excited to find these sequins that they were selling. They have these yellow sequins, an iridescent yellow, uh, like a, a pearl yellow, and then these khaki sequins for $1.25. So I got two of those. I should have gotten more, but I didn't. And then I got two of the pink. How pretty are those? Look, it's like a pearly pink. Aren't those so pretty? So I guess our dollar zone is like the 99 cent store in California, but it's not the 99 cent store. And then the last K 
case that I got. And that is everything from my Dollar Zone haul. I hope you guys, you know, get some ideas from this, you're inspired, and that you have an awesome crafty day. And thank you for subbing. If you're new here, welcome. I hope to see you in the next haul. All right, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye.